All right, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Regular season is over. Time for the playoffs. <clears throat> As you can see right there, Arizona, they lost the first game to Cincinnati and then won the next two, so that's our opponent in the first round. Atlanta lost in three to Pittsburgh. And I noticed in their injury report, they lost Michael Harris for the season at some point during that series. <clears throat> um, so Pittsburgh is taking on the Dodgers, who are I think, totally healthy. And we're taking on Arizona, who is missing Jordan Montgomery. Um, we got all of our injured pitchers back. We got Don uh, Brendan Donovan back. So the only injured player we have is our first baseman from down in AAA. American League side. Cleveland swept Seattle. Baltimore beat the Yankees in three. So Baltimore's taking on Minnesota. Um, I think Jordan Westberg is out for like one to six days, so he can be back at any point. Minnesota's totally healthy. Um, Texas is missing Jack Leiter for the season, and they lost Nathaniel Lowe um, at the end of the regular season, so he's gone for the, for the whole year too. So they're one one guy I didn't team I didn't look at was Cleveland. Let me look at Cleveland. They have Eli Morgan out, so that's one guy out of their bullpen. So Pittsburgh is missing Jack Sawinski and Jared Triolo. Sawinski's out for the year, and Triolo's probably out for this round. So there's some big injuries in the playoffs. <coughs> Pardon me. Big injuries in the playoffs affecting uh, several teams. So luckily for us, we got those out of the way during the regular season. Cross for fingers that we don't have anybody injured in this round. We got Donovan back. I stuck him back at leadoff. Uh, moved Walker up to the two. Naylor, Gorman, Arnato. We put Edmund at the bottom. So we have some speed at the bottom of the order that can get in scoring position for these guys. Um, against lefties, we still have Tommy at the top because he has 90 contact. And Gifo, I moved him up to two. Moved some guys around. I'm benching Arnato against lefties. <clears throat> um... His contact and power are both down. So uh, the JC is going to take over against lefties. Pardon me. Um, pitching wise, uh, reshuffled the rotation. We got Manoa. I moved Cutliff ahead of Framber Valdez because Cutliff's been pitching better than Valdez, and we're going to use her all these games anyway. So that should help actually put a, a more veteran and better pitcher in the number four spot. Painter, we kept him in the bullpen. We're making him a long reliever with Mason Miller. There's a blowout early. He can come in and pitch a lot of innings. One guy I did not make eligible for this first round was Walker Bueller because he's down to a he's down to a uh, 79 overall. So he's uh, he's not better than anybody else we have on the rotation right now. So we're we're keeping him off the roster. In order to uh, keeping an extra, so we got two catchers, Naylor, these three are not a win. Yeah, Nathan Church. We have Nathan Church up. We have him up instead of Burleson. Their hitting's about the same. He's a much better defender. Can't play first base, but he's got a much better uh, defensive rating. Means we could move Donovan to the infield if we needed to. So that's where we are with that. <clears throat> so. Um, without further ado, we're going to get in here and play this first game, which is Zach Gallon against Alec Manoa. And uh, this is the best three out of five. So we got to win three games. We get to uh, open at home Saturday day game. So uh, let's get going. And my dogs are going to go nuts upstairs. <laughs> Lee Zuzu is. Right. Yep. Somebody must be just walking their dog or some shit. <clears throat> All right, let's get this game going. 
We're going to play the entire round today. <clears throat> Army. Struggling to clear my throat here. Whether that's three games, four games, five games, we'll play the entire round today. And then tomorrow, probably tomorrow evening, we would play the NLCS. Um, should we win this round? And then we get to the World Series. We'll play that on Sunday around noon Central Time. So trying to get all of this season finished um, before the new college game launches on Monday. So we can have a nice stopping point. <clears throat> we can come back to this game uh, a little bit later down the road. But we need to uh, get this done so we can kick off college football on Monday and just jump right into that. So here we go. Find my fucking. I've already played today, so timing shouldn't be a problem. Final. At least he earned it and didn't just give it to him. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Runner on the goal. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. That one away, still one and two. And he deals. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That is not where I wanted that change up. Not a good start at all. Not a good start at all. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. To drive short to the baseball Timing with the uh, meter is not an issue this morning. Oh, come on. He's standing right there. <clears throat> Luckily, it's only one game. Get there, Donovan. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Runner takes off. Strike in there. Hey, announcer, you gotta tell me he's running. God, only another changeup. Still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his God, damn. So many foul balls. This inning is just a nightmare. Line to left. And it gets down for a base hit. Headed for <clears> three. <throat> He'll score easy. Fucking ridiculous. Puts a run on the board. Have I said I hated this game yet today? A solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Already three runs across oh, in the, the frame ball. here in game one. One and one. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Just well, misses good. without one. That's Ooh. off the mark. Full count now. I think he wanted that call in the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Nope. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed. Only one out. Just his sights just a little bit. It's all right, Specta. No big deal. That's why I put it on. Uh, I, I send out a notice on Discord when I'm going live too. MLB's ass today too. They've already given up three runs in the first inning. 
Not my gameplay. My pitching has been ass, and it's only been the top of the first. Got all my running done. I had to go to the grocery store, empty the dishwasher, clean up the kitchen, make lunch. Now I'm very full, so I won't be hangry. Might go to sleep. I see FG's coming back to the NWO. Curious to see what Danny and JT are doing. And who else is going to be added if we're going to have 12 or 14? That hot team back in there to swing the bats. On the ground. Walker. On the bag. One up, one down. Jordan Walker. Next up for the Cardinals. Get down. Get down. That's fair. Ground rule double. There we go. Yeah, honestly, I hope we do not start playing anytime soon. Like, uh, give us at least a month to play the game. Figure shit out. There's no reason to run it, rush out, and start playing right away. <clears throat> I'd be not in favor of that at all. I can even know what playbook to use. Go look at the teams. Nope, didn't get all that. I hope not. I really don't. I mean, what? what is the point? To be the first league out there playing? No. I don't give a fuck about that. I do give a fuck about my playbook and what team I'm using. <clears throat> it's not like we all have 24 hours a day to play this game behind the scenes and figure shit out. Plus, it's such a goddamn grind. Let's just chill out and relax for a bit. It's a brand new fucking game. God damn, just getting no corner calls at all by this umpire. <coughs> Give me nothing on the edge. Good thing I'm carrying Painter so I have another guy that can go multiple innings in relief. No matter what Arenado does in the playoffs, we are not bringing him back. He's regressing, and we've got a better player on the roster already. We can spend the money elsewhere. <clears throat> Going to need to extend Gorman after next year, I believe, so we can give him an extension once we get into the season. And then Walker needs an extension the year after that. I think we have... I think I already did an extension for Donovan and Newt Bar, I believe. <laughs> like two or three years. Nothing outrageous. They're both right at 30. Stay off that. I cannot lay off the change-ups. <clears throat> Had plenty of velo. It was just on the end of the bat and too high in the air. We have a much better lineup than these guys. So I need to pitch better and I need to hit better. <coughs> Everything's right at him. Back here at Bush Stadium. Now the number two hitter, Zach Gellin. That clips the zone. 
and that is strike one. You know, these D-backs doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They say these D-backs. Every time they say it, it sounds like these D-bags. It really hasn't happened. They've made contact on nearly 100%. These douchebags. And down on strikes he goes, and that's the first out. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher was. Arizona douchebags. He got the swing and miss, and... Sure, a bit of sigh of relief after <coughs> <starting the zone. coughs> Fuck. I just ate lunch, so that's why I'm having trouble clearing my throat. Yeah, Henry Davis will have a much better arm next year as well. God damn. Already got some. I do not have it with Manila today. At all. Look at that. Three, six, three. Wow. Why was he not on the bag? Why was he just standing there? He had to float the ball so he could get to the bag at the same time. He's just standing there. And then he floats this ball. Why did Naylor not go right to the bag? That's this game. The defense on franchise for the user, not the CPU. The defense for the user is broken. I quit swinging at this shit in the dirt, man. Wynn had a career-high 24 home runs this year, so that's good. He's progressing really good. Mr. Hurricane doesn't think he's a future shortstop. He's our number one shortstop prospect. Tells you what he knows. He doesn't know a goddamn thing. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes. Because he didn't play him early on. You got to let him go. They only progress when you let him play. Good to see the CPU not getting that call as well. Ah, oh, got under it. Thomas gets under it. He's got it. And there's two. Come on, Donnie. Wind's blown out to left. It's kind of in from right center field to the left field line, actually. So it might be growing, blowing across. There we go. Flip that in there. <laughs> Another example of the CPU defense. They hit that ball to me. I can't catch it. Specta Switzo came in here when I first went live. Not why, not sure why. He's going to be the greatest college football 25. He didn't say a fucking word. He's going to be the greatest college football 25 player in, on Twitch. Wild one, Grim Reaper. Welcome in. I'd love to see him play uh, Brusso or uh, Revamp. You've seen him play Danny. How do you do against Danny? There we go. Diamondbacks down quickly, but they lead it three nothing. 
He clapped Danny. Or Danny clapped him. There we go. Base hits. Walker's the only one getting hits. The only time I beat Danny was on that uh, game when I was playing with Oregon. And I uh, got that kick six when he missed the field goal and I ran it back. That's the only time I've beaten Danny. Not this season, but last season. Came this close to beating uh, both Brusso and Jimbo. Lost both times. <clears throat> hometown team, Arizona or Cardinals. I'm St. Louis is my hometown too. Fucking double play. I'm too busy talking. Oh. Disastrous top of the first. We've kind of shut them down pitching, but we can't hit for shit today. Fucking Walker's got two of the three hits. We haven't been able to put two together. Got him. Cardinals. Yep. I've been a Cardinal fan since 6970. I was too young for 67 and 68. Get there, Lars. Come on, on your horse. Go. Went to game six and seven of the 82 series. So I was there when we won the World Series. Yeah, I was in college out in Colorado for the 85 and 87 series, which we both lost. Come on, give me a pitch I can drive. Saw one of the NLCS games against the Mets. And that's like the last, no, it wasn't the last, the last playoff game I went to was against Washington when uh, <clears throat> we almost got no hit at home. It was terrible. It was my wife's first playoff game and we almost get no hit. <laughs> Who's on first? Newt Barr. Born in 64, I was born in 65. And it's going to get caught. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's get some something down and in the gap. You went to Fox? I've refed uh, high school volleyball at Fox. I went to Hazelwood West. No, it's not a swing. Wipe that off. And he'll do it again. <clears throat> Come on, Mason. We need you to drive one here. Gets a piece there. We'll Just battling at this point. Just battling. Get something up in the zone. Would you, Zach, do us a favor? Like that, and we just missed it. It's just a high, lazy fly ball. All right, well, we can keep them right here at three runs. Still have a decent shot. Can't give up any more. Let me get there, get there, get there. He caught it! What a catch. I had to dive for it. <laughs> had to hit R2 to get that dive animation. Look at that. One 
down, base is empty. Line drive and a base hit. Don't you notice how they always just seem to hit it just beyond where we are? Everything came together for and we're hitting everything right at them. It's just the way it goes with this game, man. Gives you no breaks. And that should have been a strike. There we go. I think Manoa's done after this inning. He's getting tired. And uh, we don't need to chance giving up extra runs here. Thought there was only one out. I forget how many outs we had. <clears throat> All right. Nine, one, two, three. Tommy. It's like having Tommy lead off. McDonovan, Walker, Naylor, Gorman, Arnado all behind him. Come on. Where are we at pitch count wise? He's only at 43. We're swinging at too many first pitches. <clears throat> See if we can make him work. Have a long inning here. There we go. I'll take a walk. Hardy. Said good timing, but I was tardy. Come on. Had to swing at that. Thomas gets under it. And there's one down. All right, Donovan, let's go. Left fielder, Brendan Donovan. <clears throat> we didn't have him for the last month and a half or so, two months. Broke his hand. Survived without him, but he's a big part of the lineup. Tomahawk that foul. <clears throat> Let's go. Come on. Just got a piece of that. Three, two on the way. Ah, jammed me. No, fucking hate Marmol and I hate uh, Mosellac. Marmol should have been fired after last year. If it wasn't for Pujols and Molina, they wouldn't have made the playoffs that year anyway. <laughs> Last year you saw what happened without those guys in the clubhouse. Can't stand that little fuck. He's a 230 hitter in the minors, and he's a manager in the majors trying to tell people how to do stuff. And he's an arrogant little fuck, too. <clears throat> if I was Tyler O'Neill last year, I'd have punched him in the face after he called me out in public. Damn, we haven't really hit the ball hard once all day except the double by Walker in the first inning. You know what? They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Yenier Cano. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. We got to get rid of all the analytics decisions made in the game. <clears throat> you can use analytics to help, but they're they're like running the team with analytics. They don't have the uh, baseball feel. It's all a bunch of fucking dorks, people following dorks, and you need some baseball guys 
Wouldn't mind having Joe Madden in there to tell him to fuck off and do what he needs to do to get the win, right? This one popped up. Foul crown first base side. <laughs> we screwed up when we didn't sign uh, Francona as manager and took Matheny instead. We probably would have won a World Series by now if we had Francona running things, but it's like we're doing analytics, but we're like doing it halfway because, come on. We don't know how to develop guys. They get to the majors, they flame out, we trade them away, and they go nuts. Don't get me started on pitch counts. We, we, we baby these pitchers too fucking much. Don't throw max effort. Oh, come on. Don't throw max effort every pitch. And let them pitch. Let them throw 115, 20 pitches. There's no, arm's not going to fall off. They're not 13 years old. They're fucking adults. They should be able to throw 120 pitches in a game. But since they're throwing max effort all the time, that's why they can't do it. God, he's done nothing but fly out the right and center field. Here's Nolan Arenado. It's only at 60 pitches. I've been swinging too much. I've been playing too much. Playing too much. Uh, Diamond Dynasty against the computer grinding for cards where you get to swing on every first pitch. Yeah. Tried to check swing. It didn't matter. It's going to strike anyway. Carlson's been a fucking waste. They've mishandled Walker. Not a huge fan of Burleson, but he's been doing a great job this year, so you can't discount that. He's done well on a few guys. And we've gone seven innings and haven't even come close to scoring a run. This dude hit a two-run homer back in the first. We have shut them out since that disastrous first inning. There we go. Late decision to swing at that shit over his head. <laughs> Donnie, not going to get there. <clears throat> Notice how their balls are always dropping right in front of us, or just past us, and all of ours are going right at them. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. That was a slider all the way on the outside edge, and he pulled it. We get eliminated in the first round. You may not see me play this game for a while. Like, it might be two or three months before I play this game again. Right at him. Don't care. Just want to get this game over with now. No, he'll get there and catch that. Look how long the ball is in the air. Of course, just out of my reach. <laughs> Every fucking time. I hate this game. Moreno in the box now. No balls in a strike. 
Runner at first with no outs here. That one catches the zone. That is strike two. One ball, two strikes. Fights it off. You'll see another. How is that not a strike? Come on, Angel. Fucking make a strike call once in your life. There you go. He'll walk up there and put it in his glove. Wasn't going to chance to throw to second because this game is so flaky when it comes to defense. He would take forever and he would be safe and then be in a lot of trouble. All right, well, can we get a five run ninth? I doubt it. Seriously doubt it. We tied this game. I'll do a double shot right away. That's a home run. Six miles an hour. Tommy smoked that pitch. And rolled over. Come on, Jaywalk. <clears throat> you have half our hits. Ah, way out in front of that pitch. Way out in front. Very first season I played, we traded Goldschmidt and Carlson to the Indians for Naylor, Bybee, and Sandlin. <laughs> They've all been outstanding. And then Cleveland let Goldschmidt go as a free agent. <laughs> He's on the Reds this year. They kept Carlson. Nice to get in their bullpen and see what their uh, their guys are because their bullpen's not as strong as ours. I did not swing. That was a check swing, and the game fucks. Whatever. Two bad pitches. Two home runs. One was a hanging changeup that should have been hit a long way. The other one was a slider down in a way that he pulled. I don't know how they do that. All right, so Dodgers won game one, and the American League hasn't started yet. <clears throat> All right, 
Here's our rookie, our first draft pick in the series. Actually, we're going to wear City Connect, but we're going to wear the regular hat. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show presents the National League Division. So, almost ready to get underway, and today's starting pitcher, Chris Cutler. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. He'll want. Double play ball to second. The throw to second on the nailer. Woo! Took forever to get the first throw off. A new win could get the throw to first. Because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second base <clears throat> That's where footwork really comes into play. But right there, very well done. Yeah, I totally missed my spot. As he leaves that one up high. It's a base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't run around the move. Oh, pitch is low. No, Save and sack him with a stolen base. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position. Runner goes again. Oh. Ball misses. Oh my God! Fuck you, man. Right there was all about the jump off the pitcher. He got a nice lead, timed him up perfectly, and was off to the races as soon as that pitcher went home. That's how you want to do it. That excites the entire team over there in the dugout. Out to center. Eddie grabs it on the run. One left. And here's the veteran outfielder, Tommy Edmund. And here it comes. That's outside. One and oh. They think this lefty's going to chew up our lefties. All of our lefties hit lefties well, so it's not going to affect us one bit. And this is Naylor, Gorman, so Newt Barr, Donovan all hit lefties well. So right there, Going under that. Try to pull my hands in and pull it to get him in. Moving under this one. He's there. He's got it. And yeah, there's one away. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals final. All right, Rinkifo, let's go. Victory for them here. Get their starters some run support early. You get all that? Is that enough? To the deck? To the track? To the wall? Gone! Adios! Hello! <laughs> That's why we got him to beat up on lefties. Does an excellent job of getting his arms extended to get the fat part of the bat to the baseball. Wrists do not roll over. They stay through the zone and on plane. Excellent swing. Josh Naylor, batting with one down, takes a strike. Ah, I rolled that over. He's trying to hit the left and it rolled over. And he's not even running hard down the line. Come on, Nolan. 
up and in fastball. Right there. Ah, way out in front. It's because it was only 90 mile an hour cutter. Come on. And then I tried to wait just a little bit and hit it to left and whiffed badly. Let's go. That's going to get caught. That was a bullet into the gap, but of course they catch everything. But whatever. Got the lead. Got him. There we go. Get him to chase. Stepping in, Christian Walker. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And that one's off the wall. Around first and hustling for second. The relay, but he's in there easily. Wastes no time there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle. To carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Just missed. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level, playing at night. On the ground, right side. Toss the nailer. All right, survived the two-out double. Let's go. Bottom of the second. Here's the shortstop at the play. Mason Wynn. Did he all of that one? Nope. Had to reach. If that was a little more solid contact, that was out of here. He crushes lefties. That's why I got him batting fifth. Jordan doesn't hit lefties as well as he does righties. He's still decent. He had 80 power, but... Oh, dig, 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 dig. Stay fair. There we go. Pick that little swinging bunt. Wish he could steal bases. Come on, Donnie. This on the inner half, so you can try and pull it through this hole. Here's a one one. That one missed. Yeah. Hardy. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended. Well, Spectre looks like Danny's back. Yeah, now we got to wait to see if JT's coming back. I assume he is. Fuck, why are we swinging a pitch over our head? Ah, damn. I should have played first thing this morning instead of this afternoon. Throw to first and one away in the top of the third. 
Now a chance for Geraldo Perdomo. Man, my timing with pitching today is just not good. Being in the ballpark, for those kids who are fortunate enough to have a dad that played in the big leagues, them being on the baseball field, for some it's pressure, for them they feel that they are right at home. Pulls it down and there's two gone. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. That one misses. Now two and oh. Would help if they would call strike a strike once in a while. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Drifts towards it. Reaches got it. There we go. All right, so JC, let's go. This is our Arenado replacement for next year. Whether it's at second or third, and Gorman moves to third, we'll see. Hey, we got one by their defender for a change. Now we can steal. <clears throat> That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to. Here goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. Sailed at second, and he easily steals the bag. One out, the runner at second. Here he game two of the NLDS. Don't swing his shit in the dirt, man. Fuck, come on. No discipline today at all. Alright, two to nothing. Let's go. And he's driven in both. Here, hold on a second. I gotta post something. We get strikes. God damn it. Next pitch is outside. Man, I am not playing well today at all. I'm playing like ass. And another ball. Throw another one wide so we can get the runner moving on three and two. And we swung way over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a two We're Hold on, I gotta post game. something again on I'll be right back. One second. Discord.
All right. Sorry about that. This is Corbin Carroll. Cutler back to work. This to third. Dawson Naylor, leadoff hitter, retired in the fourth. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. First pitch, and he just misses. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. He was all over that one. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in. Off balance feet. There's one. Got the double play. Let's go, Mason Win. What a what a grab and a throw. Now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Cardinals two and the Diamondbacks nothing. <laughs> Going to his right snag. Quick throw. Boom, got him by three strides. Back here at Bush Stadium. Now at the plate. Come on, boys. He more runs than two. And a pitch. Oh. Just missed. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. At the play. That's going to be an infield hit. Very much. Should have been a double, but hey. Well, Singy, At least we have two guys on. Nobody out. Really slowed the game down. And it's like Donnie's clutch will kick in here. They'll at least get somebody to the third base. Now, as long as we don't hit him with double play or strike out, we should get another run. Or pop it up on the infield. Come on. Well, up against the wall because the wind is blowing that way. Should have been a three run homer. How is that not a strike? One extra base hit for him, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Up the middle, into the outfield. He's not going to get to that ball. So a man on base to start the inning. Now he launches a... Just a simple throw to second base. Why do they have to make these stupid fucking errant throws all the time? He's throwing it to a guy at the, he's not even throwing it hard. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Uh -oh. One strike. This with a changeup. And one and one. The Redbirds leading by two. Oh, We're at the top inside. of the fifth. This inside with the curb. He went. Swing at a ball in the dirt. And that's ball three. Oh, this guy's gonna have to slow things down. There's no reason for him to even check swing on that pitch. It was never even close. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. He makes the grab. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And he'll one. One ball. One in the dirt. 
to second, but way too late, safe there. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. And there's a foul ball. And now the lefty. Now he breaks his back. Fires over to first. Two away. Next to hit, Drew Jones. 0 for 1, he grounded out his first at bat. That's hard hit on the line. Can't believe he caught it. Thought for sure it was going over his head. One left for Arizona. They trail things here. Two nothing. Back here in St. Louis, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Swings and blasts one. Tommy get a second home run in as many days? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes. God damn this fucking it should be no cooldown to be able to just pump out sound commands immediately. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. Thought for a second he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but you know those plays are so tough to pull off. And I'm sure he'd First run not driven in by Luis Rangifo. We've scored every other inning so far. Oh, that one might be back to back, folks. This one's got a chance. Oh, up against the wall. Damn, thought for sure. Right in front of the Gibby sign. Crowd got me all excited. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Nailer in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next offering is fouled back. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Here comes a pitch. There we go. It's not going to be a double because he's too fast, and the runner's not. Hello, Chief. Come on, Nolan. You need to do something, man. You hit 50 bombs in a regular season. <clears throat> sure what the fuck happened on that play. I'll take it, though. It's all right, Tommy Two Bags got us four instead. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Ooh. That misses. And the count one and two. Ground ball nailer. Steps on first for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Magical. Stands in now and watches strike one. And a foul ball. The Diamondbacks trailing by three. And we're the top half of the six. They chase that curveball that was three feet out in the other's batter's box. It's only a second K. Every time we get two strikes, they fucking put the ball in play. So that's why last time we pitched with this guy, we had 10 Ks. It wasn't even a problem. Never even came close. Two outs. Bounced out to short. 
All right. We got nine outs to go. Didn't feel late. Should have pulled that pitch. Man, if they want to throw it right down the middle of the plate, I'm going to swing. But either way, we're not making good contact. Not swinging at this pitch. Arizona's rotation is a little shorthanded. They do not have Jordan Montgomery, who's out for the year with an injury. Pittsburgh's taking on the Dodgers. They have no Jared Triolo, and they have no Jack Sawinski. Sawinski's out for the year. Texas has no Jack Leiter and no Nathaniel Lowe. They're both out for the year. A lot of playoff injuries. Now it's the second baseman, Cattell Marte. That one rips. That's a fair ball down the right field line. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. At the belt and climb. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball. There you go. Slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Hood gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter... That Got him! Let's go! But they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boog, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned. And just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. And the pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. The pitch. There we go. All right. Six more outs, boys. Get some more runs. It's our inning to score again. He just missed a three-run homer last time. I quit swinging at the first day I was getting pitch. Yeah, take a pitch here. Just take a pitch. I care that it's down the middle. We've made four outs on seven pitches part of that. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. And it is two and one. Would chase that time. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Base is empty one away. You're in the late stages of game two. Out there we go. One out walk. And, and we're just going to send him right away. Luis Rangifo. He's already homered here in this one. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. And safe. Go. Swing mess with his throw. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably <clears> gets him. That throw is just a little wide. Base hit will give us another run. So we had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. In the air left field. Hernandez on the move. Snags it on the run. Runner tags it second. And he moves up to third. Now two away. Here's Josh Naylor. One for three. First pitch not okay. close. And another ball. And the righty deals. There's another run. Again, scoring every other inning, one run. Just kind of slice that one into center. Comes through with the RBI. Got a change up and a pretty All right, 
Nolan. Let's park one. Put this game out of reach. Jammed myself. I've been giving away at bats. Missing me off. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Last ball for a strike. This lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate. Their swings are disjointed, which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition. Well, he put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speed. Got him. There we go. Suddenly he's up to five Ks. Pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. One out. Base is empty. And that's downstairs and outside. Got him. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there. And that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. I'll speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mix it up to speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball. Whoops. But clearly that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Strikeout pitch is working great. Ever since we uh, started throwing the curveball, man, it's made a huge difference. Got my Cardinal mug. Way out in front of that changeup. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Walker now with the ball kind of drove in on me. This is why you shouldn't stream right after uh, a big lunch, ready for a nap. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. I have to get some more water and put some of this uh, caffeinated Mio in it. Wake my ass up. And you get it right where you want it. And another ball. Yeah, there'll be no uh, shot to change the uh, momentum today. There we go. I'd have to go make some more coffee. <laughs> Playing like fucking USN today. This one lifted in the air, left field. Hernandez tracks it down for the out. 
Yeah, I made a half a pot and then I pissed away two cups by not going back for a refill. Henry Davis, next up for the Cardinals, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. I expect you hear my, did you catch my comment about playing like USN today? <laughs> Fucking baby back bitch. <laughs> it's going to be my new, uh, when I yell at myself. God damn it, USN. Right, we're going for a complete game shutout, boys. He's got 96 pitches. And there's no point taking him out until we have to take him out. He's saving our bullpen. And he won't pitch another game in the series. I don't believe. Efficient in getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at Got him. Another strikeout. We've been on a tear the last three innings, man. He went from one strikeout to eight, just like that. And here's fucking pain in the ass Carroll. Why did he die? Alright, now we'll take him out. Hmm, let's give Romano his job back. I really don't want to throw Matsui against these right-handed pitchers. Or, I'm sorry, right-handed hitters. God damn, the foul balls in this game are off the hook. All right, Cardinals win. And that's a winner! That's a winner! This was a plus win for this team. Game two of the series at home after dropping game one. They win it today. They feel a lot better heading to the next ballpark for game three. So singing as the numbers show a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. Why I made uh, Cutliffe our number two instead of Valdez. Eight and a third, eight hits, one run, no walks, eight Ks. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right. Now it becomes the best two out of three. Unfortunately, two of the three are on the road, so. All right, Cleveland and Texas are tied. Baltimore is up 2-0 on Minnesota. And the Dodgers are up 2-0 on Pittsburgh. Again, this is the best 3 out of 5, so...
couple of those series could be sweeps. Tanner Bybee and Brandon Fott. Day game with the roof open. All right. Go get some more water here. It's the meal with the caffeine in it. Just about ready to go. All right. Pause this. I'll be right back. Looking at his numbers, pretty balanced. Doesn't walk a lot of guys. Good contact's not going anywhere, though. <laughs> Any wind going on? All right, Jay Walk, let's go. Damn, how was I tardy on that? Well, we're making good contact. We're just hitting it right at everybody, so that bodes well. We can find some holes. <laughs> that was like a predetermined swing. That ball wasn't even close to the plate. He swung at it. And that was a late swing. Mason Wynn is a stud. Regardless of what Hurricane says, Mason, Hur Mason Wynn is a fucking stud. It's not my fault he can't develop players. And we dove over that one. <laughs> Gorman dove over the ball. Yeah, goddamn stolen bases are driving me insane. Can't imagine 
you don't change the attack plan too much. Right, he delivers. Oh. That one missed. It's a good take. Got him. There we go. That's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance. Get him out of there. Three. And he got him. All right, baby. We're going to have to pitch our way through this fucking series. New inning getting started. Stepping in the long ball threat. Nolan Gorman. And the first offering is not close. Let's talk about great individual postseasons. One that really sticks out to me is Ricky Anderson in mm. 1989. Hardy. He hit four field, balls, Hardy. three homers, and 11 stolen bases, leading Oakland to a World Series championship. You know, it's like... There's a Twitter account that I follow that has a lot of those t-shirts, and there's one that says, I don't feel tardy, that I thought about buying. postseason performances hard to top Carlos Beltran in 2004 eight homers and 60 wish these two would just shut the fuck up especially Singleton bored in on me thought I was going to get the inside pitch there Jumped, jumped at the pitch. If you missed my last stream, Arnado hit a walk-off home run against the Dodgers to secure us the number one seed. Going. He had a flare single into center field early in the game. That was our only hit off Otani. And then Jordan Walker hit a one-out home run. Tie the game. Let's go, Lars. So he goes the opposite way with that one. It's two nothing. He only needed one. Adios, Pelota. And that is bad food. Aggressive, and it paid off. And then Arenado, one out later, hit the walk-off home run to get the win. So he had three hits. Two of them in the ninth Way inning to to home on home runs. Way to go, Newt. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Right field down the line, and that one slices back. One down, base is empty. Tried to go with that pitch and hit it to right. Both Contreras and Arenado. Are going bye bye at the end of the year. Arnado's a free agent, and we're going to trade Contreras away because he's regressed below Henry Davis, and I don't want to pay him $17 million to be a backup. And we don't need a DH. We've already got Gorman and Walker. I just need to get a backup catcher. And, uh,. Gorman's going to need an extension. He's probably going to get 25 mil a year. Mason Wynn, the next to hit. Yeah, Wynn hit that well, but doesn't have the power against righties. He does against lefties. All right. Dude. And it's two zip. You're watching the National League Division Series on the show. Bottom of the inning. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Five. In his fifth season, 28 years old. And he was a fifth round pick in 2021. Just missed. One ball, one strike. Out towards right center field. Edmund going after it. He's got it. One up, one down. Alec Thomas now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. Can't glove it cleanly. 
but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Fastball in for a strike, going along. And the slider just misses. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two One, two. There you go, pop up. Carlito, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we lost the first game 5-1. to one. I gave up a two-run homer in the first and a two-run homer in the seventh. But then we uh, came back and won 4-1. to one. Our rookie pitcher almost threw a complete game shutout. Gave up an RBI triple and we got him out. So we won uh, game two. And Newt Bar just hit a home run last inning, so we're leading here. Just need two more wins, and we'll either play the Pirates or the Dodgers. Dodgers are up 2-0. They just need one more win. Win this series. We'll be here tomorrow. Planning on playing tomorrow night, but it's very possible I could play late morning instead. Yep, this is the first round, our first round of the playoffs. So we'll play this round today. If we win, we'll play the NLCS tomorrow. And if we win that, we'll play the World Series on Sunday. Guarantee the World Series is at noon on Sunday if we make it. We have to decide when we're going to play the uh, NLCS. I have to go get my hair cut some point tomorrow. So I either have to play before I go or I have to play like dinner time, six o'clock. Back here in the desert as we go to the last of the third. Digging in, Gabrielle Moreno. Should have started this series at like 10 o'clock this morning. I was playing way better this morning. Doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0 2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Nope. That's inside. The Cardinals up by two here in game three. In the air right field. Newt Bar moves under it. He's got it. And there's two away. Um, Tommy Edmond has two home runs. Jordan Walker's got like four or five hits. So our most productive player was our pitcher last game. He threw eight and a third innings of one run. It was... No runs allowed. He gave up a triple to score their only one run. He had like one strikeout through the first five, and then he had seven strikeouts in the last four innings. Third game of the division series. And now it's Josh Naylor. That's in the corner. You're not chasing that down. Can't get to it as it Gosh. All right. This is the guy we got to get going. Gorman, I'm not sure if he has a hit this whole series. No, he doesn't. That'll give him the third, though. All right. Man in third with only one out. So as long as we don't pop it up, strike out, or hit it back to the pitcher... Should be able to get this run home. One for one with a single and a run sport so far. He singled the center his last time. I'll take that. That's an RBI. All right, three nothing. Just as good as a hit. All right. Lars homered last time on a pitch right down the middle.
Two out spaces empty. Cushion for the pushing. That's right. That one fouled off. Ball to strike. And oh, another ball. Out. Here we go. Same direction as home run was. Take that. All right, Wilson. He was down in the zone with you last time. And he's going to be down in the zone again. All right. Tack on runs. Got to keep scoring tack on runs. All right, it's time to start throwing this curveball. Sit your ass down, Zach. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right here. Number seven. This is Corbin Carroll. This motherfucker drives me insane. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Tying the zone for a called strike. One and one. On the ground. And foul ball. Still chasing it as he rounds second. Around third, the relay throw. Sit your ass down. That wasn't going to ever be an inside the park home run. <laughs> Was never going to be an inside the park home run. You've got to be sure if you're going to advance a run or even try to score right there that you're going to be safe. Just a poor decision. Two outs, space is empty. Could tell Marte up to the plate. And there's a foul ball. I'll take it. Why to kick the pitch? Right through there for a strike. Oh, this guy is so comfortable oh, hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the That's a home run. That was a slider that stayed up a little too much. And they inch closer. It's 3-1. This game just got a little more interesting with that home run. One run across in the frame so far. Here at the bottom of the fourth. That catches the top part of the zone. Oh, a two now. Foul ball left side. That is not where we wanted that pitch. That's where we wanted, and he still hits it. On the ground to third. All right, that's why you need tack on runs in case you make a bad pitch and it gets hit over the board. All right, well, let's see if we can get more. And we're back. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the shortstop, Mason Wynn. Mm. And first offering is fouled off. Wynn, 25 years old, and he was a second Why does it say there's 11 people watching when there's only nine people watching? Like it says it on Streamlabs and on Twitch. Oh, couldn't wait for that pitch. I don't care about eligible for any Twitch pack. Fuck off. Give me a pitch to hit. Up and in, preferably. Next offering way off the plate. Right, looks like middle. Couldn't hold up. Could not hold up. All right, Tommy, two bags. Let's go. Sitting 429 in the series. Three hits, two of them are home runs. And he has two stolen bases. That pitch clips the outside corner. That strike one. Oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Puts it in the air out towards left center. 
Hernandez snags it for the second out. And now, Brendan Donovan. Come on, Donnie. Here, another one without a hit in the playoffs. His timing is off. Yeah, activated off the DL right before the playoffs. Alec Thomas. First pitch misses. You know, these D backs just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled right about the That one almost got him. There's the automatic. in the air, left field Donovan fakes the catch and there's one gone hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now that hey. one finds the zone and it's 0-1 hey. big swing and a miss that one door slider is such a devastating pitch you don't want to get beat by there the we go Bybee so won 17 games which tied him for the uh, National League lead in that category It's a home run. That pitch was up and in. How do you drive a pitch that's up and in out to right center? You guys remember me throwing this many home run balls last year? I mean, in MLB 23. Even playing at Coors, I never gave up this many home runs. And I'm still pitching on Legend. It's not like I've changed. I was Legend then, I was Legend now, and the pitching is just not the same. They either don't swing at close pitches or they foul 900 pitches off. And then anything that's over the middle, they hit hard regardless. Fucking ridiculous. Walker's hitting 444, but he has no home runs and no RBIs. That's right at him. Fucking rope. Right to him. Don't reach. Don't reach. Sometimes just the little scoreboard in the bottom gets locked and it won't update so you can't see how many pitches they've thrown. That's a double. And one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And that's a two-out double. Finally gets his first base hit of the series. Yeah, maybe that will end up getting him going. Yeah, he really and Fott's out of the game. Steven Matz. Steven Matz. All the way back to the first two years we had him. Arnado does not hit lefties nearly as well. So you'd think he would. But he doesn't. He's regressed. Up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. I'm leaving him in there for his defense right now. His power and power is down to 65. His clutch is 66, which kicks in over his contact rating. Walk would be awesome. Rip 
Or a double down the right field lines. Even better. Let's go. Well, it's going to be a single because he's so goddamn slow. So we'll hold him up, and we got the lead back up to two. His speed is 16. <laughs> he's like almost yachty slow. It's terrible. I, know, I never thought of Arenado as that slow. What a pitch. Get through. Nope. Another example of the CPU defense being fucking ridiculous. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 4-2. Bottom of the six. Here's the shortstop at the play. Geraldo Perdomo. That's in there. And that's strike one. In the air, out towards left center. Donovan makes the grab, one away. Next to hit, Zach Gella. In the air, left field, down the line. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And the pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Edmund in position. Hauls it in for the out. Two down. That one to first. There we go. Kept him off base. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Three up, three and if we can uh, not allow any more base runners, we don't have to face him and get rest of the game. And the Diamondbacks, two. Or at least face the minimum each inning. We won't have to face him again. Contreras now up to the plate. There's the strike at the knees. You know, these Cardinals, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for This guy's a junk baller. With delivering consistent hard contact, that's almost always going to lead to positive results. Yeah, it's going to get down for a hit. There we go. And aboard on the leadoff single. And we're going to swap him out for Henry Davis because we don't lose anything offensively and we get a much better throwing arm and a much better base runner. He's at 71 speed as a catcher. Come on, win. You crush lefties. 80 power and 79 contact. Just need a be patient, get a pitch to drive. Mm. Nasty slurve. I'm just fighting that off. Stealing, but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder. You're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly. To there we go. Guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Now, Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Now, Brendan Donovan. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The ball was sitting up there. I was trying to get around and 
hammer that pitch in the right field corner. The Redbirds trying to break this one open here in the late stages of game three. Nice. Look at this fucking defense. That's two innings in a row where they make a stupid diving save to not, to not only prevent a hit, but to get an out. He's trying to hit it to right, not pull it. It's just floating out there on the outside part, just begging me to drive it to right, and somehow we got around early and pulled it to third base. Didn't chase. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. Gets under and pops it up. Settles under this one. Makes the catch. And there's one down. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Right through there for a strike. Oh, one's the count. Two now as he swings through. Got him. <laughs> that was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Thomas stands in now and watches strike one. Popped up. Catcher tosses the mask. All right. Six outs to go, boys. Six outs to go. And we're back, ready to begin the eighth. And now the first baseman, Josh Naylor. Outside low, ball one. Ah. One to the right side. Martin. Stay back. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. No way. Here's Nolan Gorman. Out of line, out towards That's going to get caught because Carroll's stupid fast. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to... And he's going to catch that one too. Watch. That's back there. It's gone. Arenado goes deep. <laughs> on the first pitch of an at bat you watch it oh play. yeah you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing yeah, that ball went out. in now takes ball one off the plate That's Lars is hitting 500 three hits including a home run back in the second inning of this game yeah it seems that way I like that there's no more glare on the center field wall either All right. Nolan. He smells that World Series as well. Last year with the team. He had a great playoffs for us last year. We're not fucking around. <laughs> we are not going to mess around here. Chase. Close there. One and two to count. Got to 
keep things airtight defensively right here on your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three run lead, it's just not a problem. Tommy's got the wheels to go get this. And there's one down. Gabriel Moreno stands in. We get to the ninth inning. I'll bring Tommy in to play second base. We'll put Victor Scott in center field. Three to go. And the Diamondbacks down in JP Fireeyes taking over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And now it's going to be Henry Davis. Passes the first. Now one gone in the ninth. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyer. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bases empty one away. You're in the top of the ninth. Hmm. Hardy. One down, base is empty. There's in the one in the gap. You're not catching that one, Carol. That's at least a double. Or is it Alec Thomas? I forget who's in center field for these guys. I want to say it's Corbin Carroll. Come on, Tommy, two bags. One to hit. Donovan, we got to get you going, man. You have no hits in the whole series. We have ten hits. Kind of spaced them out a little bit. We have two home runs. Late decision. We are very late. All right. Let's try to pull this pitch. We did it, but it was low in the zone. Come on. Got all of that one. Is that going to get out of here in the corner? Yes, it is. <laughs> Scratch my leg. Fucking bleeding. And now Jordan Walker. There's a swing in a bit. Oh one's the count. That one misses. And it's one and one. Gonna be so jammed. I'm looking up and in and I'm jammed on the pitch. Two outs. That's inside. Now a grand slam can't even tie the game, so we can relax. The pitch. Swing at a high fly ball left field. Makes the grab, and that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer.
It's now a 7-2 ball game. Bottom of the ninth. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo. That one finds the zone. Strike oh, one. one. Out to short. Win. This game isn't close, so I don't have to make all those defensive switches. So we'll just leave Gorman in the game and not mess around. Going to hit easy ground balls to second base. We'll take that. And what did I say? We didn't keep him off the bases. But Carroll's coming up, and he's not a factor in this game. So we can relax. Got him. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And that's a winner. That's a winner. All right, one more win, and this series is over. Three hits for Arnado. Double, single, home run. Newt Barr with a two-run shot. Bybee pitched great. Believe he gave up two solo homers. Yep. Sandlin got the save because we were we had a three-run lead when he came in, and we let him finish the game. So, all right, that was good to get seven runs. Their fourth pitcher is not good. He's not in two, three. Yeah. So it's Ryan Nelson. He's an 80 overall. He's kind of looks like Fott. He's balanced across the board. Yeah. Only pitched 15 games, more hits than innings pitched. 10 home runs in 83 innings. Was not great. He's pitching because Montgomery's out for the year with a torn, torn rotator cuff. So the Dodgers swept the Pirates. So that's who we would play. Remember, we hadn't played them all year, and then we had a 10-day stretch in the middle of September where we played them seven times and the Braves the other three. <laughs> Braves are out of here, but we gotta, we're going to have to face the Dodgers again. And Texas on the other side swept us at their place in August. So, including an extra inning game where Framber Valdez threw like 10, he threw at least 10 innings. We lost in the 11th. So, Baltimore, Cleveland, Texas. All right, let me save. Go through the Dodgers again. The only good thing is we have home field because we beat them. Four out of those seven times. That game where we had uh, solo homers by Walker and Arenado in the uh, bottom of the ninth to beat Otani, that gave us home field. All right. Romber against Ryan Nelson. Jimmy, just for you. Still waiting on JT, I see. <laughs> Jimmy, I'll have them wear their uh, Serpientes uniform that you like to wear on Diamond Dynasty. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. About to get started here, and today's starter, Ryan Nelson. 
He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains Late the decision to swing. That he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball. Ooh, nice cutter. Late break. Thought that was going to be a ball out here. Flew it right by me. I was looking for it. Wow. We were tardy. Definitely tardy on that. All right. Come on, Jordan. Started hot. Cooling off a little bit. And there we go. That was a laser. That was a tee shot right down the middle of the fairway. Boom. All right, Josh. That's one reason why I moved him up to two and Donovan to one. Oh, that's a gapper over his head. Yes. Off the wall. Naylor's going to get a double. Yeah. All right, Nolan. Can we join the hit parade here in the first? Yeah, he's not a fast runner, so we're not going to go. What's up, Eagles? How you doing? Yeah, we need a fast start. We need to put them on their heels in case I make a mistake. All right, Nolan, three hits, single double and a home run last game. Ah, don't chase the changeup. Don't chase the changeup. Come on. I mean, looking off speed there. All right. We got one run, so put the pressure on them. Jordan with the early missile. Robert pitched a hell of a game last time we pitched with him, so let's see if we can keep that momentum going. Gotta be here. Yeah, you want to swing at that crap? We'll do that all day. Of course, the pitcher doesn't field it when it's our turn on defense. How many times do you hit a ground ball back to the pitcher and they're like a fucking hockey goalie knocking everything down and throwing you out? Oh, that pitch missed so badly. Yeah, they won in 2006. They they actually had a good team. They just played like shit that year in a regular season, and then they went on that magical run, and that was the year Wainwright ended up being the closer at the end of the year. He uh, struck out Deltron. With that 3-2 uh, nasty overhand curveball in Game 7 of the NLCS. And then the Tigers pitchers forgot how to play defense in the World Series. Made like six errors. <laughs> hey, that kind of made up for 2004 when we had the best team in baseball and the fucking Red Sox go on their stupid losing 3 to nothing and beat the Yankees in, in the ALCS. Because we had... Uh, Chris Carpenter got hurt, so we lost our best pitcher for the playoffs. There's one. There's two. Keep Carroll off the bags. Yeah. Well, the Cardinals were not a bad team. They played like shit that year, but they weren't a bad team in 2006. I mean, they're two years removed from being the best team in, in baseball. 
but 2011 was crazy. I was at the game against the Cubs that year when their uh, pitcher blew a he blew a save, and it was a wild pitch that let the winning run come in to beat him. I mean, it was like a four-run rally in the ninth, three-run rally in the ninth to win that game. And that was when we had to win like 16 out of 18 games down the stretch to even make the playoffs. I went to the NLCS against the Mets in 06 when Weaver pitched. Jeff Weaver. Green Weaver. That was the last... No. I just said earlier, I went to a game against the Nationals when they almost no-hit us here. And it wasn't Scherzer. Ours with a little bleeder through. Yeah, some years you should win, you deserve to win, and you don't. And in other years, you have no business being in there, and next thing you know, you win the World Series. Okay, so we need to end this series right here, not go back home. Just off the inside edge. I think he got enough of that. Hernandez makes the grab one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying close. All right. Well, we got 13 guys in the NWO now. We need a 14th. No. All right, I'm going to have to turn off Discord because you guys are blowing up in the middle of my stream. Tommy Edmund at the plate. Edmund, it is ninth season. Getting ninth in today. Highly distracting. Former National League Gold Glover. Two outs. Boots it. Oh, he boots it. And we're going to get on. There we go. Phillies in 2022. Cardinals actually had a better team that year, but our uh, mentally deficient manager pissed that one away, throwing our closer when he had a uh, injured finger and he uh, couldn't get anybody out in that one ninth inning, and we lost the game and ended up turning the whole series and. hate that motherfucker oh that's out of here that is absolutely fucking hammered get out of the fucking park yes <laughs> 4.43 I think Donnie's back boys <laughs> I think he's back let's fucking go Told you this baby back had nothing on the mound. That one ripped but foul. We didn't beat the Phillies because we threw an injured closer. <laughs> we uh, lost that game and it killed our our uh, mentality the rest of the uh, series. That was game one, and after that we were toast. Ball was hammered. He doesn't even really have that much power either, but that was perfect, perfect. Back here in the desert, here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. And of course, now here comes the comeback code. And the leadoff man aboard. And the Braves are one of those teams, you know, they're really good, but sometimes they don't uh they don't play as Ooh. They don't play that well in the playoffs. I mean, we beat them the one year when we had Ozuna. And they they played like garbage. Just depends on who shows up. Right 
Look at all these bleed ears. Just makes it through. Just makes it through. That's like the fourth or fifth one in this series alone. All right. No damage. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. The right-hander back to work. Mm. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. I would not be disappointed if we put up double digits in this game. Left-hand batter waits. To the right side. Dives, but it he's going to be out because he's too fucking slow. Gets it there in time. When Naylor's contract is up, I'm not going to bring him back. We'll just move Walker to first base. That'll let us go get another hitter wherever we want to. Probably an outfielder. They're easier to find. I would not be against. Man, Arenado just keeps hitting in the playoffs. He did this last year, too. I would not be opposed to bringing Arenado back for, like, 5 mil to be a bench player. Defensive replacement. Insurance in case the JC doesn't do it. Yeah, this Cardinals team... Outside of Naylor, most of the hitters are our regular guys. Um, I've just had to revamp the entire pitching staff. Yeah, I've already got the new college game. It's going to download and install tomorrow. I provided the, uh, provided the uh, servers stay up on Monday, I'll be streaming live at 3 o'clock Central. Probably go live a couple minutes early. Yeah, that's that's what I streamed when I first started on Twitch was NCAA 14. I already said I'm going to do Mizzou Tigers for my gameplay dynasty first stream is just going to be checking out recruiting and transfer portal and all that good stuff so i'm just going to pick a random team just for that stream I played some NCAA 14 earlier today just because I felt like playing football. Yeah, I have a team builder team for Memphis. It's called Memphis Tech Pharaohs. Hoping they put their team builder site live today or tomorrow so I can work on making that team before Monday. This goddamn piece of shit kills me every fucking time. Get the ball, Newt! Now it's a triple because you fucking can't catch the ball. Oh, 
you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Slap the other way, foul. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning. Perhaps. Yeah, I played 13 before, so I'm used to that, that kind of uh, recruiting. It'll be different because it's a different game and they've got not 100 percent the same recruiting but it'll definitely make it uh challenging at the start until everybody figures out what the meta is like with 14 we all knew the squat cheese and the low lock cheese there'll be something that we find in this game that'll make easy uh make it easier regardless of what they say we're gonna have hundreds of thousands if not millions of people playing this game and then we'll figure out how to uh fucking hockey goalie knocking the ball down should have been all the way through for a single we'll we'll break the game yeah i think everybody's going to be a recruiter first till they figure out recruiting And then does it become motivator or a tactician? Do you want to make your guys get better or do you want to play better when you're you know, when you're playing? In the air on the infield, Which could have this one. Probably for uh people that play head to head like us in the NWO. I would say it's gonna be tactician and recruiter. Speaking of NWO. There's our league right there. If you guys want to watch us play head to head, I don't know when we're gonna play again next. Honestly, I hope it's not for a few weeks to give us time to uh, learn the game. Hint, hint, Jimmy. Could be August, September for all I care. Give us time to figure out how to play the game, man. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. There we go. That's up the middle. I will steal him to second and try to get him in with a, an, 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 another RBI. Donovan hammered that pitch right there last time. Safe. There you go. I'm looking for a full-time job, too, so that kind of cuts into my game time. I didn't get it. That's going to get caught. Never see outfielders drop fly balls in this game ever. Or the computer. I've seen our guys drop <laughs> multiple fly balls over the years, but never the CPU. Mason win everybody. <laughs> what a play Siggy as he went to the ground for the diving stop. Let's take a look with stack pass. Bam. You know, every team in baseball really needs a shortstop capable of making Yeah, I was 46 when the other game came out. 47. My sons were in their teens. Clips a corner. Pitch misses there. Now one and two. High fly ball out of the left center field. Boom, there we go. Yeah, it was a big adjustment to go from 12 and 13 to 14. When it first came out, I was lost on the recruiting. I had to watch videos and go on Operation Sports and Reddit and all that stuff to figure out stuff. And then it got to be really easy. 
And then the more I did it, the easier it became because it became a math problem. So the uh, the way they're doing it, like the old style, it'll, it'll be less a math problem and more of a, a chess type game. All right, Jordan. Clips the edge. It is fifth season, 24 years old, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Hmm. On the ground, out to short. Perdomo on to first. One away here in the fifth. Yeah, the weird part is not being able to see their 40 time in bench and squad. I know it's in the game. I just don't know where it's at. So probably going to be poking around trying to find it. Just to see if the squat cheese is the same. They have to show it to you somewhere. One down, base is empty. A That's a rocket over his head. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. There's no Gorman. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo. Light tower power. That's right. First pitch doesn't find the zone. I'm going to pull my hands in and drive that pitch. Come on. And a one, two. No, Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Go to third. To Go. Did you see the, uh, not the expert, his video showing recruiting with Kennesaw State? There was a, a quarterback he was looking at that had 100 speed. Showed it on there. 100 speed with 91 throw power. He didn't get him. One of the bigger schools like Georgia got him, but he had 100 speed. Dive. Safe. There we go. Extra run. Yeah, transfer portal. Transfer portal is actually going to be good because that'll that'll supplement your classes. So if you're having trouble nailing guys down, you can just go in the portal and grab somebody. Especially if you have really good players that might turn pro. Um, the way they set that up, I mean, you're going to be, it, it might be better for you to go ahead and let that guy turn pro as a junior so that one of your backups doesn't leave in the transfer portal. And it will also help your um, pro potential rating as well. Typically, I like to bring them all back. And they they get drafted anyway, and they get drafted as a higher draft pick. But it might help you to let them go earlier so that you get that bump to your pro potential a year earlier, right? Instead of waiting one more year. Especially if you're a lower school and you kind of need help in that category. A, a uh, newer coach. If they have the transfer portal looking uh, really good, then it wouldn't be such a hit to your roster by letting somebody go. Usually you get a junior that's crushing it and the guys behind them are like redshirt freshmen, so you need them to not only sit that year, but sit the next. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they said there's going to be more diamonds in the roughs that are especially three stars and two stars. Kind of help out. But... Um, 
I watched this other guy's video and he was talking about it doesn't always give you their overall, but if you have playing time as one of those deal breaker things and his uh, playing time rating for you is A+, that means his rating is going to be higher than the guys that are on the depth chart right now, so he's going to come in higher overall than they are. So it may not tell you what their overall is, but it tells you he's better than what you've got. <laughs> It probably won't factor in the seniors because they're going to be leaving. So, all right, new pitcher. Twelve outs to go. Oh, I was trying to pull that ball. Some really weird swings where I expect it to go one way and it's going a different way. Tight spot. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Dude, we've been hitting some bombs in this game. Donovan hit one 440 right over here above those flags. Back in the second inning. I'm going to finish this shit off so we can play the Doyers. Los Angeles Doyers tomorrow. I know George will want me to kick their ass really bad. That's yeah, another hit into the gap. I think I already know what team I'm going to play next year for MLB The Show. It could change. It definitely could change. But I think I'm going to do the Giants. One hundred yard pick six. There you go. I think I'm going to do the Giants next year because they have a nice mix of uniforms and uh, buddy 49er George is a Giants fan. I've already done the A's. My buddy Fam, another double play. That's why we have Nolan out there. And the uh, Giants have a really nice park. They kind of have a bunch of old players with a few young guys sprinkled in. So Kyle Harrison's good, but you can kind of go wherever you want to with that team. I'd be more tempted to blow that team up and just trade away a bunch of veterans and start all over. If I do, if I do that, I will probably trade all those guys away before the season starts. And then them through the season quickly. So we can get to the draft and it'll guarantee that we suck. So we get a high draft pick the next year. Uh, won't guarantee we'll have the first pick, but we'll have a high pick. Maybe we uh, not necessarily do a draft-only rebuild, but try and build a little more through the draft and supplement with with uh, veterans. Maybe we'll uh, employ the Rule 5 draft to uh, bring some veterans in that way. Get some guys that are buried on teams' uh, minor league depth charts. We're just kind of cruising through this game. I'm not even really paying attention to what I'm doing. Make a good pitch and get penalized for it. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. Not in time. That's a leadoff double. 
all over that one right there. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is Ed was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man. Ooh, how did we miss that? Look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Well, and my sister texted me. I'm a notary, so she needs me to notarize some stuff for her. Popped up. Get foul. Get and that will drop foul. The one, two. The punch out there. <laughs> Just stood there. Yeah, I know, that was a sinker, and I threw it high in the zone. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That one's in there. Strike one. He takes a strike. Got him. There we go. All right. We only need six more outs, guys, and we're going to the uh, NLCS. So let's go. Let's keep pounding this pitching staff. Oh, rolled over. God damn. He left that pitch right over the middle, and I... Hit on top of the ball. Hey, Nolan. He's hitting 400. Center field. Jones on the move. And there's two away. Two outs. Base is empty. Now up for St. Louis. Lars Newtball. One for three. Slider misses outside. Jarvis. Let's go. Let's go. Former first round pick in 2020. We got all that. I don't know if it's going to be out, though. Nope. All right. Where's he at pitch-wise? 86. Right. We haven't had to use the bullpen hardly at all in this series. Eh. Get that pitch off his shoe tops. Come on, find your mark. There it is. He is not pitching the ninth. This will be his last inning. See Donovan just stand there like a statue until the ball hit the ground. This game cheats so hard. Oh, that was a strike. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball. He went. There we go. But he went too far. It's two and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Foul ball, another two-two upcoming. Change up. Lefty closing in on a hundred pitches. He hammered that. All right, he's done. Tying run is on deck. We don't need to uh, let this game slip away. And while we're at it, put Victor Scott in center field and move Tommy to second base. That'll greatly improve our defense in both spots. Move the ball around, add and subtract, get 
some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Hit balls in the off. Ball. Hit that ball off the ground. All right. Got him. Yes, that was clutch. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. It's easier for him as a lefty to make that throw to second base than throw to first base. So there we go. Ten hits allowed, but only one run. All right, let's get some more runs here. Get down the line. Nope. Davis might have a chance to beat that out, but Karras wasn't going to do it. All right, Mason. Let's let's take a pitch. Get swing happy. So I just want to get the game over with. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Oh, just fouled that off. Come on. That was a bad pitch to swing at. Ooh, took it for ball four. It's close. All right, Tommy. Somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. This to Scooped it. Field, Jones settles under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. The left so the All right, Donnie. Over, and here's the St. Louis leadoff. You're only hitting 118, but you got two home runs in your last two games. Ah. Get a ball popped up for Domo. Underneath it. All right. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the night at the play. Gabriel Moreno. Pop foul out of play off to the right. And that's in the dirt. Up the middle. Can't get it. So he gets on base, an elimination game, one at a time, right? And all of a sudden, the pressure... This one swung out of course he hits a two-run homer. That pitch was low and on the outside edge, and he goes down and pulls it to the gap. He doesn't hit it to right field. He goes down and pulls a pitch in the lower outside corner for a home run. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And the curve is down and in. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The Redbirds trying to close out a two-run lead here the last half of inning number nine. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. He's two outs away. All right, Geloff sucks against lefties, so that's good. And of course, he hits one in the corner for a double.
ground ball to first. Take the out. The runner doesn't matter. Down to our last out. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. In the box now. Take strike one. There it is. And that's it. They're moving on to the National League Championship Series. And that's a winner. That's a winner. You win a National League division. Oh, yeah. A little bit as the next one will stretch out to possibly seven games. I'm sure they don't want to take it that far, but they're just going to be happy to get there. Congratulations. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious team, Cardinals. Five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left five runners on the day. For the Diamondbacks, three runs on 13 hits. All right, Walker and Donovan with home runs. Valdez gave up 10 hits, but pitched well. Matsui gives up that stupid home run. Doval, who we traded for when Romano was hurt, comes in and does his job. And, uh, yeah, we are off to face the Dodgers tomorrow. So, while I have you guys in here, which do you guys prefer? Um, and Texas beats Cleveland, Baltimore sweeps Minnesota. So, we have Texas, Baltimore, Cardinals, and Dodgers. It's Manoa and Otani, Cutliff and Yamamoto, Bybee and Miller. Last now. Look at that. They have four 90 overall pitchers. Corbin Burns is their fifth starter. <laughs> oh my god. This fucking team. Freddie Freeman's on the bench. How many 90 overall players do they have? One, two, three, four, five. They have five 90 overall players and they're all in their rotation. <laughs> I'm sorry, I take that back. Mookie's at the top. They have five and four of them in the rotation. Mookie's the other one. My bad. Like all those guys, Yamamoto at 28 is the youngest. Miller's 28. I didn't realize Miller's 28. Well, well, we're five years in, so... Wow. Okay. Let's save. And then we'll do this shot. Hey, October 10th. It's my daughter's birthday. She was born on 10-10-2000. Uh, All right. Here we go. This is for uh, knocking off the Diamondbacks. And for you guys hanging out with me, let me know in the chat. Do you want me to stream this late morning tomorrow? Or do you want me to stream it right like 6 p.m central time right at dinner time because it it's going to be the best of seven so we may have to play seven games so let me know in the chat do you want it to be during the day or do you want me to do it at night Let me get your attention. All right, boys and girls. Daytime stream or dinner time stream tomorrow? Tell me. What do you want me to do? First one to answer is going to be what the decision is. Day, late morning or dinner time? Dinner time? All right. We'll do it at dinner time. <clears throat> Thank you. 
dinner time. That's going to be right around 6 p.m. Central Time. It gives us plenty of time to get all those games in if we have to go 7. So, all right. Well, that means we are done for the day. And that means we're going to go hit up Man Cave Hawkeye. So let's go raid Man Cave. Let him know what happened, because I know he likes to have me on in the background. Or did he just stop? Did he just stop streaming? No, there it is. I was reading the wrong thing. It's getting close. All right. We're going to start the raid. When you guys are ready, we'll head on over there. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. And, uh, like I said, NLCS tomorrow. We win that. We play the World Series Sunday at noon. That's a hard start. Noon on Sunday. So let's beat the Dodgers and see if we play the Rangers or the Orioles. So... Thank you guys. Appreciate you. College football in three days. Three days. All right. Give you the thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central Time. Boys and girls. Mm -hmm.